Hi everyone, we're about to do an S&P 500 technical analysis update. We're going to go into the daily and then the 30 minute time frame to get a better picture as to where this market might be headed tomorrow. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the S&P 500 technical analysis update. We're going to start on the daily, then we're going to move to the 30 minute time frame. It's going to be quick today with good information. Okay, so what do I see? Well, okay, all eyes have been on the 3,000 time, uh, 3,000 price point because of resistance. A lot of traders' eyes are on it. Nothing new there. Obviously, this pink line right there that I just threw up, that's the 200-day period moving average, the godfather moving average. It is known as that. It's a lot of resistance. So will they be able to break through that? Will the bulls be able to break through that and make a new high? Well, it's not only that is an area. There's also resistance right in this area too. So there's a. it's not just one line. It's like a fortress of, you know, bears just, <laughs> just hanging out and just like blowing wind down at these bulls trying to like slowly kind of creep up into it. So this range right here, like I said, I'm still more on the bearish side, looking for more of a pullback. Um, but the, as far as like shorting this market right now with all these crazy gap ups and gap downs, it's very dangerous for shorts and let alone it's, it's, it's a little scary for longs as well. So the market's confused. Let's go ahead and hop into the 30 minute time frame though, to see maybe a good picture as to where the market might be heading. Okay, so here's the 30 minute time frame. And as you can clearly see, there's a big area of resistance right here in this range. I'll go ahead and make that red. It's actually somewhat irrelevant at this point because of the breakdown. And let me tell you why. It also, if you notice this area right here, I'll say, yeah, right. Yeah, I'll say that area right there is was actually resistance back in this area. And then it broke through, became support, back tested it. So this, I mean, this is doesn't take a genius to see this, right? This is very clear area that is um, an important area. So I'm actually, let's just get rid of this one right now so it's easier to see. It broke above. This was acting as support at this time. And then it broke. And look what happened when it finally broke down. There's a pretty aggressive move. And then the back test came back to try to test it and hit it. Okay, so it is resistance. This area right here, a lot of people are going to keep their eyes on it because if it breaks above it, we might see more of a push. I mean, it wouldn't be, you know, crazy to see if it breaks above it and close above it, more of a move to the upside. And very well, if it broke through the resistance up at this level, like I can definitely see it coming to the $3,000 level at that point. Now, an area of support that we can keep our eyes on, um, I would say right here, obvious, um, clear area. Look at dude, technical analysis or due debts. Technical analysis is easy. All you have to do is look for the data points um, and and they kind of just pop up on the map everywhere. You know, just when I say data points, I mean candlesticks, the wicks. And if there's a lot of data points in certain areas, like look at, boom, it bounced right here. Boom, boom, boom. And then boom over here, kind of boom over here. So this area is area of support. It acted as resistance here, finally broke through, back tested it, okay? That's what support does. Again, support broke down through that area and then boom, jumped up. Okay, and then it back tested it here again. So uh, everybody's going to be looking at this area right here. It's nothing, it's, it's, it's nothing, and you know, insane. But within this channel, if you do see a break below on the 30 minute time frame, yeah, this is going to be probably a good push to the downside. And I would say these areas right here would be the next area of support. This area would be a little bit of support. And then obviously we'd have. Um, the 200 day period moving average and then the window close right here. So there's a, yeah, that's a lot of support in this area. So there's a lot of like bull, you know, uh, barriers that the bears would have to get through. But this could right here be the, um, the ultimate test for it to start building momentum, right? So if it closes below this first level right here, it's like a small, small snowball rolling down a hill. Once it builds that momentum, it gets a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger, and you might see more forceful of a move down. So keep an eye on both of these levels. We got 29.39 and then 29.62 for resistance. That's all I have for you on the S&P 500 technical analysis update for today. I'll see you back on tomorrow's video. Sha-boom, baby.